It is 1222, and you know, if you go to the Blumenthal Arts Center, if you go to the Belk Theater this week, you will see Jekyll and Hyde, the musical, and we're <laughs> delighted to have Teal Wicks here with us. You play Emma in the mm -hmm. show, and yep. sort of one of the two love interests of the Jekyll and Hyde character. Yes, indeed. Tell me a little bit about this staging of Jekyll and Hyde. Some people might be familiar with it because it was on Broadway for a little while yeah. and some familiar names were in it. This is sort of a redo. Yeah, we're actually calling it a revisal versus a revival. Uh huh. Um, so we did a lot of retooling with the songs and the orchestrations are completely different, trying to give it a more contemporary sort of rock flair to it. And we're trying to sort of condense and streamline the storytelling, which is really great and just kind of just trying to make it keep the story strong and give the people a really great show and make it a little bit more new and sassy. Yeah, it definitely felt sassy. It's a little sexy. It's a little, a little sassy. sassy. Mm -hmm. um, talk a little bit about the, what if people will be familiar with the basic storyline. Is it really truly, I mean, I saw it the other night, but I want to hear from you, you know, is it really truly the Jekyll and Hyde story that we're all so familiar with? Um, well, it depends on if you're familiar with the musical or the Robert Louis Stevenson uh, uh, novel. Right. It's, so it's that story, but we've added some characters, we've added love interests, and uh, but it's still the same story as it was back in the 90s on Broadway. Mm -hmm. Still, yeah, basically, and all the characters are still there. Some people might be a little bit more tightened up, but yeah, but it's... It's still the good story and still the good songs that you love. Yeah, it really is great. And we're looking at some video. You have two well-known co-stars, yeah. Constantine Marullis, who you're seeing there now. You, people probably remember him from American Idol, among yeah. other things. And then Deborah Cox as well, who has a beautiful oh, voice. Yeah. And she's been in sort of the pop gospel yeah. rock world for a long time. It's, it seemed like a really nice cast and not a bad voice in the, oh, in the show. not at all. And it's, for me as a singer, I mean, I... I've done a lot of musical theater, but I, I love just I love rock music and all and blues and whatnot. So being with these two powerhouse singers definitely has sort of allowed me to feel a little more free mm -hmm. in what some of the singing that I'm doing, and I sort of try to rip off of their juices and try to like <laughs> give my own kind of umph to it. I don't know if it's working, but well, here's the information <laughs> on your screen right now. Now through Sunday at the Belk Theater at the Blumenthal Performing Arts Center. I was telling Teal in the commercial break before our interview here that I could have listened to her voice all night. She has a beautiful voice, so if you go check out Thanks. the show, definitely listen for her. Thanks for coming in. Sure, to see you. totally to great you. to be here. Final look at the